What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Eternal Sith Network where you get all your Star Wars news. Today we're going to be talking about the actor Ray Stevenson from the Ahsoka series and more. But before we do get into that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I have a merch store and a membership program that you definitely want to check out. And as always, don't forget when you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. News was brought up yesterday. Marvel and Star Wars actor Ray Stevenson tragically passed away on Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Variety confirmed with Stevenson's publicist that the Irish star died on Sunday at only 58 years of age, although no cause of death was given just yet. An Italian website, Spectolia, first reported that Stevenson's death noting that he had been hospitalized on the island of Escaicha during the production of his new film Casino on the island, Stevenson was well known among comic book fans for his supporting role in the MCU as Volstagg in all three movies from Thor the trilogy, as well as playing the character in Punisher 2008's Punisher Warzone. He will also play a villainous role in the Star Wars upcoming series Ahsoka as Balin Skull. Previously, he voiced Gar Saxon in two episodes of Star Wars Rebels and two episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars. Outside of his place as a sci-fi comic book franchise mainstay in Marvel and Star Wars, Stevenson built an impressive career over the last 30 years. He played key roles in other action stories like the Divergent movies and G.I. Joe while also becoming well known for his roles in major TV shows such as Dexter and Vikings. The Scottish star even had a place in the hit 2022 Indian movie RRR which won an Academy Award for Best Original Song. As I heard this news, it truly broke my heart because it came with such a shock and I did a couple live streams on Instagram. If those of you who don't know, I am also on Instagram as well. You can go follow me. It's the same handle as here, but it broke my heart because this reminded me kind of like of uh, Chadwick Boseman who played Black Panther, who we had gotten a video. We, have see we saw that he was sick, but we didn't know what was really wrong at the time when he did pass. And then when he did pass, it was a big shocker. And to hear the news of Ray Stevenson passing is so sad because it's the simple fact that we just saw his character in the trailer of the Ahsoka series and it looked very promising. And his character was supposed to be kind of like the Sabath, Joris Sabath of, you know, this new Dave Filoni, you know, Mandoverse that we're supposed to be getting that is supposed to kind of emulate the heir to the empire trilogy from timothy zahn so this here hit so hard and you know one now wonders what happens with this character going forward what what are they going to do i mean again we don't know if his character does die off in the ahsoka series i personally don't think he would have because again this was all supposed to lead up into a movie and he was supposed to be thrawn's right hand man as well so I'm curious to see now what they do going forward, if there's going to be some sort of a recast, if his character didn't die off, or are they just going to ride him off into the sunset because he did have an apprentice and maybe she was the one that was being set up for something bigger in the Ahsoka series. But again, guys, this is with sad news here that I have to announce that yes, Ray Stevenson, the actor who was supposed to be coming up in the Ahsoka series has passed at just the age of 58, which is still so, so young. But here we will take a moment of silence at the end of this video. And again, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this news and how you guys feel about it. Because it, again, it hit the Star Wars community. I feel like with such a bang and so quickly that it happened before even seeing his character even played on the screen. And I feel like his character is going to do phenomenal. I feel like he did such a good job. And I can't wait to see him on the big screen when it does come out on Disney Plus. Because again, Dave Filoni talked about this being a religious experience and him coming out 
of the viewing of it tearing. And you can only imagine now this show is going to be that much more touching for these actors who got to act alongside him in the Ahsoka series. But comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and what you believe now is going to happen going forward after his death. And how do you feel about the impact in the community? For more Star Wars content, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell. So you're always in the know. Don't forget, I have a membership program and merch store. And as always, the Eternal Sith. Then, now, forever.